In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages PowerPoint 38 and 39, in which we're going to align and group objects. After watching this video, you should be able to move shapes using guides, align and group shapes, and distribute shapes. After you are finished creating and modifying your objects, you can position them accurately on the slide to achieve the look you want. Using the align commands in the arrange group, you can align objects relative to each other by snapping them to the grid lines on a slide or to guides that you manually position on the slide. The group command groups two or more objects into one object, which secures their relative position to each other and makes it easy to edit and move them. The distribute commands on the align list evenly space objects horizontally or vertically relative to each other on the slide. Let's now take a look at step one on page PowerPoint 38. Step one tells us that we want to right click a blank area of the slide. So just anywhere down here on, uh, we're still on slide four here, the Atlantic region uh, stations. We want to right click here on a blank area of the slide and then point to grid and guides. And then we want to point to guides. Now the PowerPoint guides appear as dotted lines on the slide and usually intersect at the center of the slide. Guides help you position objects precisely on the slide. In step two, it tells us that we want to position our mouse pointer over the horizontal guide. And of course, that's the one that goes straight up and down here. And when we do that, um, or I'm sorry, that's the vertical one. The horizontal one is this one right here. And of course, the horizontal guide is um, just in a blank area of the slide, not on top of the objects or the text or anything. And you'll notice that the pointer will change to um, a double arrow with two lines in between it. And now we want to press and hold our mouse button here until um, the pointer changes into a measurement guide box, which we see right here. And when you move it, you'll notice that the measurement is changing as I move it up and down. And it tells us that we want to drag the guide up until the guide position box reads 0.42. And of course, that is what it should look like right there. So it should be up 0.42. Once we have that, you can click and release that. Then we want to drag the vertical one, and that is the one that goes straight up and down. And we want to drag this here to the left. So remember, get to a blank area of the slide here, and this is step three tells us drag the vertical line to the left until the guide position box, re, uh, position box reads 2.92. So I'm going to click and drag this here until we hit to the 2.92. And then I'm going to release that. Once we have that there, we now have, of course, crosshairs, which is kind of identifying where we want to input in our shapes. Next, on step three, it tells us that we then want to drag the holiday circle shape, which is this one right here, so we want to click on it. And we want to drag this so that the top and left edges of the shape touches the guides as shown in figure B3, uh, B13. Or you can do this right here, just click on this. And you want to get it right to where it goes right on the line, so that this line right over here is touching and this line right over here is touching. Now the holiday circle shape will attach or snap to the guides. So of course, once again, as you're moving it up, it will probably snap or attach there. You may have to move it just a little bit just to make it fully snap to those uh, guides right there. Of course, a quick tip as well, to set the formatting of a shape as the default, you can always right click the shape and then click the set as default shape on the shortcut menu. On step four, it tells us that now we want to drag the excursion shape um, symbol uh, here, which is the one on the uh, right hand side. And it tells us that drag the excursion shape, circle shape, to the right until it touches a vertical smart guide. So it tells us that we're going to drag this to the right till we reach a vertical smart guide, which is right there. And then it tells us that we want to press and hold our shift key on there. And then we want to click the other two circle shapes. And once we have that, we now have all three shapes are selected. 
Then next, on step 5, it tells us that we want to click the Drawing Tools Format tab on the ribbon. That will switch our ribbon up to the Format tab here. And then we want to click on the Align button, which is in the Arrange group. And then next, we have some different options. The first thing that we want to do is we want to align, click on Align Top. And you'll notice that all of the um, shapes have now moved up and aligned with that top um, guide that we have set earlier. Because the lower shapes move up and align with the top shape along their top edges. Now the right circle shape would look better if it were lined up with the line under the title. So to do that we're going to move on to our next step uh, on there which is on step 6 where it tells us that we're going to drag our vertical guides. So now we're going to take this vertical guide again and we're going to drag this to the right until the box reads 5.17. So we're going to drag this all the way over to the right until we see where it says 5.17 and then release. And then we're going to drag the excursion shape, uh, circle shape to the left so that the top and right edges of the shape touch the guides. So we're just going to have to really just drag this to the left just a little bit there. Make sure that you deselect the objects there and then just select just the excursions and drag it just to the left a little bit so that it is now lined up with this um, vertical guide that we have selected as well. Now the excursion shape moves to the left and is now lined up with the design uh, element on the slide. Next, it tells us that we want to press and hold our shift key, and this is on step 7. And we want to click the other two shapes, so we're going to click on getaways and holidays. And then release our shift key. And then we're going to go back to the drawing tools format tab again. And then we're going to click on the align button. Once we click on the align button this time, which is in the arrange group, we're now going to go to the distribute uh, area and we're going to distribute horizontally. So we click on distribute horizontally and you'll notice that the getaways moves over toward the middle a little bit more. And then next we're going to click on the group button here which is in the arrange group and then click on group. So now we notice that the shapes are now distributed equally between themselves and now they are grouped together to form one object without losing their individual attributes. Now notice that the sizing handles and rotate handle now appear on the outer edge of the grouped object and not around each individual object. Next, on step 9, it tells us that we want to drag our horizontal guide to the middle of the slide until its guide position uh, reads 0, 0.00. So we take our horizontal guide here and we go right back to the middle. 0, 0.00 and then we want to drag the vertical guide here until it reads 0, 0.00 so this shows you the center of the slide. Finally uh, we can go through there and it tells us that we now want to click on the view tab which is on the ribbon and then click the guides checkbox which is in the show group and then we can click on a blank area of the slide to deselect our object, which it was one object, and then we can go ahead and save our work. Now on page PowerPoint 39, it talks a little bit about distributing objects, and tells us there are two ways to distribute objects in PowerPoint. And the first one is relative to each other, and the second one is relative to the sli uh, slide edge. If you choose to distribute objects relative to each other, PowerPoint will evenly divide the empty space between all the selected objects. When distributing objects in relation to the slide, PowerPoint evenly splits the empty space from slide edge to slide edge between the selected objects. To distribute ob objects relative to each other, you click the Align button in the Arrange group on the Drawing Tools Format tab and then click the Align Selected Objects. To distribute objects relative to the slide, you click the Align button in the Arrange group on the Drawing Tools Format tab and then click Align to Slide. 
And that concludes the information that's on pages PowerPoint 38 and 39. You're ready to move on to the next video in which we're going to add slide footers.